Hey guys, it's Teddy here and I'm uh, going to show you a little tutorial on how to set up and use my roller coaster plugin for Unreal Engine. I use this to build a roller coaster around uh, the living room, uh, you might have seen that, but I thought this would be a good test to try out the plugin system uh, for Unreal and show people how to set up roller coasters without having to do any coding. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to download the roller coaster plugin and unzip it. You can see here I've unzipped all of the files. Um, there's two folders that we're interested in. There's the content directory which has a few bits and pieces like the track mesh and the materials and a few sounds and then the actual plugin itself. So the first part is the plugin. We're going to take that and we need to copy it into our Unreal Engine folder. So in your Unreal Engine under the engine directory there's plugins and then runtime. That's where you need to copy and paste that. So we'll copy and paste that in there. Uh, the second part that we need to do is to grab the content folder and you need, need to copy this into your project. So I've got a new project, empty project I've created called my project. Uh, so I'm just going to copy that folder and merge it with the content folder of my existing one. Okay, now we should be all good to go. The next step is launch the Unreal Engine editor. Uh, I'll pop that open and then we can open up our project. Uh, before you can use the plugin, you do need to enable it. So you first of all need to get into the editor, enable it, and then restart. And then you should be getting ready to go and uh, laying down tracks and splines. So I'll open up my project. Now you can use any project. Uh, the other one I did was using some of the example Epic uh, projects, and you could, you know, build a roller coaster in there or build completely your own map if you wanted to. Once you're in here, then you need to go into uh, Window, then Plugins. I've put mine in the virtual reality section and you just need to enable that so ticking this box here. Uh, once it's enabled you click restart now that will quickly restart the editor and then you should be ready to go. Restarting, restarting. Okay now we've got our editor and we've got our roller coaster plugin enabled. Um, now we can start setting up our world. So the first thing you, you need to do is you need to open up your blueprint. Uh, in your blueprint you need to create or edit your game mode. Um, I've got one here and then you go into the default sections of that and you need to change the default pawn class first of all to roller coaster pawn and the default player controller class to roller coaster player controller. Now the pawn is the actual character that moves around the world so that's the chair and the sounds attached to that. The player controller is the thing that finds the uh, spline mesh and follows it around the world and does the kind of pretend physics that I've set up. Uh, let's have a quick look at the pawn um, just to give you some idea. Uh, so this is the, the roller coaster pawn and you can see it's got a bunch of events uh, and they're all plugged into these sounds. These are for the different sounds that happen uh, while the game's going on and this is one that uh, that sets the velocity uh, for the sounds and kind of tell it how fast it's going and make it play the right sound accordingly. Uh, if we look in the components section you can see this is what it looks like and it's just the default chair and it's got a couple of audio components. You can scale the chair up or down depending on the size of your roller coaster. This is kind of set at real world scales but I scaled it down for my test um, which is pretty easy to do. So now that we've got that set up, uh, the next thing we need to do is lay down some track. Now in order to do this I use Unreal's landscape uh, tool because it already has a spline mesh tool built into it. So let's create a landscape and you need to have one in your level. Now for my uh, indoors one I just created a small one and hit it under the level but you know you could use this as your actual level as well, you know anything would work. So let's just create a nice default landscape here and then the next step is to start setting up our splines. So if you click on manage landscape and then from there you can select the edit splines tool. This puts you into spline editing mode. Now to create a mesh spline, all you need to do is hold down the control key and click somewhere on the landscape. So we'll click once here to make a point. This is a landscape, landscape spline control point. We need to change the width of this to something sensible. So for my mesh it's about 100 and we'll just set that for these numbers here. So once we've got that placed down, all we need to do is create a second uh, point. So we'll hold down control and click again and now we've got a spline mesh that runs between the two. 
Next thing that you'll want to do is to set up the actual mesh that gets used for that. So if you click on the greeny yellow bit in the middle, that selects that actual segment that runs between the two points. Now we need to do uh, add spline mesh. So we'll click add element and we'll choose, we'll search for our track spline mesh that I created. You can see that looks kind of wrong here because it's facing the wrong orientation. What you need to do is change the forward axis to be Y because that's how I made my mesh. And now we've got a spline uh, that runs between these two points. Um, we can edit this and uh, drag it around and that will kind of set up our track. So um, yeah, it's, it works really well, it's quite straightforward. So let's go ahead and set up a track. In order for the roller coaster code to work, you need to have a complete loop, uh, otherwise it won't start at all. So you, we need to keep creating points until we make a loop and join it up back to the start. So let's hold down control and create a few more points along the landscape. And finally loop it up back to the start. So to do so, you just have to have the last point selected and then hold down control and click on the first point and you'll see that it all joins up there. Um, now what you will need to do is just uh, rotate it to the correct angle so that it can kind of form a track. You see it likes to loop in on itself. Um, that's that's just happens until you kind of get it all in the right orientation. You want to make it nice and smooth as possible so you don't kind of get jerked around the corners as you um, as you move around the track. The next thing we need to do is we need to set the player start point. So there's one in this level already. We'll just move that over to where we want the beginning of our track to be, which is let's say here, and then that should give us a character that can move along the track. So let's uh, go ahead and run that in this viewport window. You can see it's now very slowly moving around this track and there's no audio. So the next step that we need to do is set up a few events in the level blueprint to trigger it to, uh, you know, play different sounds or move at different speeds when you get to different sections. So what we want to do is go into the blueprints and then open level blueprint. You can see in here I've already set up a few um, shorthands to kind of keep things tidy. I'm uh, getting the player controller and I'm casting that to a roller coaster player controller because we need to it needs to be that type for us to modify all the, the velocity and sounds and all that kind of thing. I'm storing those in a permanent variable here and I'm doing that for the roller coaster pawn as well. And this is where they get stored. It just makes my blueprint a little bit neater. So the first thing let's do is let's uh, grab the roller coaster uh, controller. And then we'll set the velocity. So we'll go set roller coaster velocity. And we'll set that to something sensible for climbing up a slope, like 300. Uh, and then we want to trigger some sounds. So we'll grab the roller coaster pawn and we'll call one of the functions on there. There's a start climbing and start falling. So the start climbing plays the gear sound, the start falling stops the gear sound, and starts the track sound. So we'll do start climbing and we want to do this as soon as the level begins. So we'll just chain it off of this event up of here. Make sure that all is correct. Compiling. Um, so to make this into a bit more of a roller coaster, uh, all we need to do is uh, select the points and kind of change their elevation. Let's see. Grab this point here. To get in there. And let's um, move that up a little bit. Now that looks a little bit more like a roller coaster. Nice steep climb. So we should begin here, play the gear sound, and then slowly move up. Right, so that seems to be working. Next thing to do is uh, when we get to the top, we want to trigger it to play a different sound and move a whole lot faster. So the the way that I like to do this is by using trigger volumes. So if I go into volumes and then go down to trigger volume, we'll just drag one of these into the scene and we need to make that roughly the right size and shape. So something like that. That's the wrong way. Yeah, like that. So what these do is when the player passes through the trigger volume, it will fire off a blueprint event and we can trigger it to do other things. So go into our level blueprint and now we create an event using that. And the event that happens when you touch it is on actor begin overlap. 
So we'll drop one of these in here. And then we want to do the same thing. So we'll get this and we'll want to set the roller coaster velocity. We'll set that to something like going fast, like a thousand. And we'll trigger that. Trigger that. Yep, looks good. And then we also want to change our sound. So we'll grab that and call a function for start falling. And that will stop the gear sound and start the track sound. All right, make sure that compiles. Okay, let's see what that does. So now we have the right sound, we're climbing up, and then when we get to the tippity top, roller coaster begins. So simple as that, there's no code involved, um, you don't have to do any coding at all, you can modify the code if you like, it's all there, um, and uh, otherwise, yeah, the, the, there's a few other handy functions in there for setting sounds and uh, changing the camera rotation and whatnot. But um, but that's the basics of the plugin. So let me know if you've got any feedback. And most importantly, let me know if you build any awesome roller coasters with this. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks for watching.